Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Ferrari tier 8 premium tank. And you might think, but skill, why are you playing with this tank? Well, by the looks of it, Ferrari is the best win ratio having uh, light tank in the tier 8, right? So I believe we can try to make this vehicle work and we can talk about this, why this vehicle is so good or in a way why this vehicle is so popular, right? So let's start from the start. This tank is kind of rare nowadays. Skill, what do you mean this is kind of rare tank? Fellas, uh, if I am not mistaken, this vehicle last time was sold pretty much two years ago. So this is one of the reasons why the tank is kind of rare nowadays. A lot of people simply forgot about how good this vehicle is and how everything is looking like. Uh, one thing needs to be said, it is not ideal tank by any shape or by any form. Why am I saying it is not ideal tank? Because uh, the view range of this vehicle is pretty pathetic. Uh, let's not be afraid of this word fellas, the, the gun handling obviously is fine, everything is Gucci, hip hip hooray. But the, but the view range... For a tier 8 vehicle, come on, it is not looking that great and this is definitely not a solid banana out of 10. But this vehicle has other features which are boosting this tank quite a bit. Uh, come of this tank is kind of godlike if I can say so. Uh, in the same time, this vehicle has extremely powerful high explosive shells. 75 millimeters of penetration is huge and you can penetrate many uh, light tanks, medium tanks in the side as light tanks even frontally. Um, so yeah, it is definitely going uh, to add some value for this tank without uh, uh, any doubts whatsoever. Now. Speaking about the gun of this vehicle, this might be not the best gun in the world of tanks by any shape or any form, right? But it is pretty damn powerful. Now, I really want to demonstrate you high explosive shells, fellas, and I am going to do that in a second. Uh, what am I thinking? I am thinking about getting a bit more involved just like so. Our BR Hotkiss is trying to make a scout run. Whoops, excuse me. Our BR Hotkiss is trying to make a scout run and he met Ferrari. We met Ferrari, Ferrari is running for his life. Not a big surprise, that's okay. Now, how to get the most out of this situation? As you can see, this Ferrari is still sitting somewhere relatively close, but he noticed he need to escape. Okay, that's fair. Let's see. Can we craft a good angle for Suka Pershing S? Now, if we are going to be able to do that, I can promise you that we can penetrate him up the butt and I am not even joking fellas. We can penetrate this gentleman for pretty much 260 per shot and this is pretty huge if you would ask me. This is pretty huge. Oh, hi. That's one. That's two. Look. 260 penetration to this uh, Chinese medium tank with a high explosives in the side this is pretty wild it is pretty wild boys and girls ladies and gentlemen and this is obviously one of those reasons why probably where gaming is not even thinking about selling this tank again obviously they will eventually fellas front lines are coming back so obviously they are going to think about the selling this tank and they will do that eventually now, what I want to show you, I want to show you a proper high explosive clip. And proper high explosive clip will go definitely to this gentleman here. And one, and two. Yeah, this is this is quite nuts if you would ask me. By the way, if you are wondering, skill, are you moving uh, frontwards now? I, I am moving backwards. That was speed whenever you are escaping or whenever you are moving backwards. Yep, this is the speed. So once again, uh, there is a lot of things to highlight and there is a lot of good things to say or maybe broken things to say. And I would say this tank might be one of the most hated vehicles by World of Tanks uh, community, honestly. That's what I want to believe and that's what I believe in, fellas. Okay, 
What we are going to do, I want to show you one dirty, dirty, dirty feature of this vehicle. Now, pay attention how we are going to pass by over this Leo, and we will clip him while passing by, and we are going to escape like there is no tomorrow. Yeah, this is this is the reason why people truly dislike this vehicle uh, so much, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. You are bursting everyone with a high explosives without even asking their name, and you are surviving like absolutely nothing happened. Um, it is very hard to react to this vehicle as well, and this is definitely a uh, worth thing to highlight, I would say. Uh, so yeah, shame. What can I say? Beautiful. Ah, and one more feature which I forgot to mention for a second is this tank has uh, improved auto aim. By saying the tank has improved auto aim, I mean uh, you do not really need directly to aim to the enemy in order to set auto aim. Let me demonstrate that for you. I'm not aiming for the tiger, but auto aim is uh, being set. So a lot of people dislike this feature as well, right? Well, feature, cheat, however you would call this. It's just how it goes, right? So yeah, there is many, many bad things uh, what community truly dislikes. And probably this is the main reason why we're gaming made a decision um, not to sell this tank for such a long time. At least from that what I am aware of, fellas. From that, what I am a weird of. One more for the sake of luck. Have a good one. Enjoy yourself. And he is officially... He is a submarine. He is a submarine. He is a submarine. Anyways, um, Emil took one for the team. He drowned unlucky. Uh, looking into this score, fellas, considering the, for the most of the time I am um, pretty much having a chat with you, uh, I am trying to explain the thing, saying what is good, what is bad about the tank, and so on, so on. Yeah, I... <laughs> this is what we crafted. Is it ace? Probably not. Second class. Fellas... We did pretty much 4,000 damage and 1,000 assisting damage from the close range with this tank. And this is not even the first class, my friends. Um, wow. Well, what can I say? Good luck if you are hunting for, the, uh, for this vehicle ace. I can tell you that. Um, anyways, fellas. Either way, I believe... Uh, Plenty of people dislikes this vehicle and I'm curious how the comment section is going to look like. Last time when I had a video with Ferrari, I had a guy skill. I love you, but I hate wheeled rats, wheeled vehicles, wheeled... See you next time. That's that's what I had. Anyways, let's go for round number two. Uh, okay, second battle. So, what do we have? We have airfield... <laughs> We have the Erlenberg. For some reason, I was thinking about the airfield. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, how we are going to start our game? We will try to do magical opening. So we will spot every single, uh, every single gentleman who is going to try to go like this. Okay, we are giving information for our team. And that's completely fine. Sometimes information is more than enough. And now we are going to go to the other side. We got a free um, shot or free assisting damage, I suppose to say. That's nice. Let's try to make a bit of pressure here. And let's see what we are going to find um, sitting next to the red line. And this is pretty much what is uh, crazy about uh, all Ferraris or most of the Ferraris. Okay, tier 6, tier 7, fair enough. They are not very, very nice. But tier 9, tier 10, um, this premium one, especially tier 10, um, they are quite nuts. They are quite nuts if you would ask me. Okay, what do we have? We have the char footer, not exactly what I was looking for. And now this is the question, how to get some use of this guy? How we could help our guys? Okay, our guys are running for their life. That's understandable. Okay, I have an idea. Skill, what do you mean by saying I have an idea? Well, look at this. Eventually, this guy, he will need to make a bit of pressure for us, right? Or for our team. So, what do I want to do? I want to take this bush. And from this bush, 
I believe we are going to spot him whenever he will try to be aggressive. And if you would pay attention at the Kunze Panzer and Borat, obviously we have two sniper schnitzels who are definitely going to support us. Uh, I do not really think I can go uh, and play up here and the main reason being... Uh -huh. And the main reason being is because they have a crossfire from here. So if I am high, they are going to be the living crap out of me from here. So I cannot afford this. I just simply can't. I need to be smart and I need to wait until enemies will mess up. Obviously we lost quite a bit of the hit points relatively early into the game. But that's okay. Some things uh, we just simply cannot change and it is not so easy and it is not so simple, fellas. So at this point we are just chilling in the bush and we are waiting. That's only one thing what we can do. Um, pushing other side aggressively against the Kapazander or Module 1 or Object or whatever, whoever is sitting over there, this is not a good idea. This is just simply not what we are looking for. Plus on top of that they have some sniper schnitzels here. So at this point uh, there is nothing what we can change uh, in this game fellas. Um, and I know it is annoying to be patient. Believe me I am very 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 well aware of that. How mm, annoying it is not to get involved. Um, but I do not really think I can do something about this. Oh. Here we go, Ferrari is going in. Bad shot. Okay, we penetrated him once. Now Char Futur will try to be the living crap out of us for obvious reasons, but we are not too afraid and we are going for enemy Ferrari, right? That's what we need to do. Whenever we are going to hunt this mother trucker, we are going to feel so much better. That's fine. Not a big deal, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, not a big deal. And now we are going to return to the same bush where we played before. You see, enemy Ferrari was kind of impatient and this is the main reason why he is dead now. I want to be impatient as well. Skill, are you sure about this? No, I'm not, but I want to try to do my best. I want to spot this guy sitting somewhere here. And if we are going to do so, hopefully we are going to get some use, right? That's what I am looking for. Okay, that's one free shot, uh, and obviously it is always nice and always much appreciated. How about the Skoda now? Oi, oi! Oi, oi! Sniper Schnitzels already took this position. Oi, oi! Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's see. Let's try to get even more involved here. That's okay. Uh, luckily for us, Char Futur is... dead. Very nice. How about this Progetto? If he will try to escape moving through the open field, he is not going to enjoy this and I can promise you that. Couple of free shots to the Škoda T50 is always nice. Good, 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 good. And what we can do now? Hmm? And what can we do now? This is the question, fellas. I kind of want to get a bit closer here and once again there is a reason why do I want to get closer. I believe we can be very very useful for our team as well. I wonder where object run away. I wonder. Okay looks like he's sitting next to the red line already so unfortunately in this kind of situation we cannot do much. Uh, we can only escape and we can plan um, to deal with a Model 1. Now, if the things will go well, we are going to eliminate this guy from the game. We have 220 millimeters of penetration. Uh, this should be enough to show some love for the Model 1. Okay, let's try to make a bit of pressure then. Let's try to make a bit of pressure. I am pretty sure he is going like this. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. Full hit points. Oi, oi. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, full hit points. Oi, oi. Okay, how we can make it work? Mm-hmm. 
Ay, 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 I tried to do my best. I did not realize that I can take one for the team from the Kapazander. That's okay. No, no complaints, no regrets. So, looking into this game, we managed to get 1.6 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage. And, uh... Probably this is quite good thing for our team, I believe, and I hope this T55 will be able to spank this um, Model 1 as well. Although, is it victory? Probably not. Time will show everything. Let's teleport into the scoreboard and let's see what we crafted overall speaking about this game. Let's go. And we are back for a second, fellas. That was pretty close. Our team was that close to win this game. Uh... I would say T55A had a great farming simulator for himself and good for him. Enemies pretty much went out into the open and T55A and Kunze both of them said Oh! Uh, farming fiesta and obviously last enemy survived so that means we lost this game but once again it happens you cannot win them all and I am feeling pretty good with our experience or what we have done. So looking into the score, 1.6 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, 3.2 thousand combined, and look at this score. Good for our T55A, very, very nice. And obviously 75 uh, standed his ground quite a bit speaking in the, um, in the city, right? Okay, last game with this uh, beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Skill, it's not beautiful. Chat, I said, let's go. And the last game. Okay, what do we have? We have a Studzanki. We have a standard battle, which is quite nice. Um, so I believe we can try to craft some kind of strategy there and there. I would say at first we are thinking about taking this typical position and hopefully we can uh, be the living crap out of enemy links if they have one who is <coughs> trying to be aggressive, right? That's the whole plan. If they do not have Lynx who is going here, then we know Lynx is playing on the other side, which is also important information for us. So, what do we have? We are going up just like this. We are turning off the um, charged mode, and we can see the Panther 88 is trying to make a bit of pressure. Okay, very nice. Look, in this kind of situation, we are feeling very, very, very well. Uh, now we know Lynx is sitting somewhere over there, right? This is not a big surprise and we know Panther 88 is trying to be aggressive as well. Um, is he going to be successful? Well, this is the question. Now we need to kind of escape a bit. And the question is, can he outspot us here? Uh, I had high explosive loaded and unfortunately my intuition perk is not uh, yet done with this tank. So this is obviously definitely a big flaw for this vehicle. You need to have intuition and I needed to take my time probably to train it. But it is how it is. No complaints, no regrets. At this point, I am wondering, can we do something bad for this Panther 88? Whenever this Panther 88 will die, we can actually make a bit more pressure uh, towards the enemies who are playing here and sniping from the back. Now the question is, will we be able to do something? Okay, I am feeling relatively fine. <clears throat> How we are going to approach this gentleman? We are going to go for him just like so. Uh, that's not a good thing. Now looking into the Leo in the back, that was definitely a humongous surprise. I did not manage to outspot him before, but that's okay. At least enemy Scorpion G died, so we are getting a bit of the use in this way. Meanwhile, enemy Lynx is thinking about getting involved and he will. Fellas, this Lynx will get involved, but you know what? Okay. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have a baboon. I repeat. We have a baboon who is playing with the uh, lynx. Pleasure to meet you, my man. Pleasure to meet you. Okay. Let's see what we can do now. Leo is sitting in the bag. This is understandable. We get it. Now, is the middle the right play here? Do I want to go into the middle and what kind of use we could get from this? Because more I look into this, more I think it is actually not really worth it to be that aggressive if that makes sense. 
Uh, they have the E100 who is sitting here, they have a char footer and many many others probably um, who we cannot even see yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. We are getting a bit of assisting damage here which is always nice and always welcome. And obviously there is still a lot of a lot of a lot of things for us to do. How about you? Hello there. Nice. Um, okay. Couple of the free shots. That's always nice and that's always welcome. And at this point we simply need to run away. If we are not going to run away we are going to get slaughtered like there is no tomorrow. And this is not what I am looking for. So far so good. Is this tank skill that good? Well, to be completely honest with you, uh, this tank is very, very good. And um, there is a reason why this vehicle is in epic category. And whenever we are going to um, re-raid the tanks, right, um, this vehicle will still be in the epic category. I can promise you that. <clears throat> it is... A lot of people would say this is one of the most broken tanks in the game and in fact uh, um, kind of World of Tanks fall started when you know all those Ferraris were introduced and everything. And I understand why people would, uh, would say something like this to be completely honest with you. Okay, so what do we have? We are taking a typical position to sit here in, <clears throat> hopefully. If we are going to be lucky enough, everything is going to be fine and we are going to get quite a bit of use. You know what? I changed my mind instantly. Skill, could you please tell me why you changed your mind? Absolutely, yes. I kind of want to annoy this Mr. Estherva sitting here in the back. In fact, probably hits are better option to go for this gentleman. And at this point, we are still feeling alright. We are still feeling alright, fellas. Pay attention what is happening. E4 is over there. Good, good, good. I do not really think I am going to get spotted by this E4. Unless a Starva will proxy spot us. And this is exactly what happened. That's fine. No complaints, no regrets, fellas. We are still feeling very, very, very good. Whenever I am not going to be spotted, that means... We can try to figure out how to annoy this E4 who is sitting here. And yes, I am paying a humongous attention to what is happening around me, fellas. Hmm. E4 just fired. Esterva. And so. Oh, you naughty mother trackers. Oh, you naughty mother truckers. Now we know what you are doing here. You are building your nest. I see. That makes sense. That makes sense. Fellas! <coughs> T95 still never ever was spotted. You know what that means? That means he's sniping either from here or either from here. Mm -hmm. Now we know where he is. And is he looking at us? I don't really think he does. Let's try to penetrate him. Yeah, this is not so simple, fellas, but we are fine. Okay, all we need to do at this point, at this point we need to follow the line of the bushes here. And we can craft even better position to penetrate this uh, uh, T95. And in fact, he is not enjoying himself. Although I'm still not really penetrating him. But once again, what can you do? Cry every time, I guess. Moving even more in and it's okay assisting damage. So all and all uh, Is it hard to spot with this vehicle in my opinion? It is uh, Even though you do not really have the best view range in the end game uh, to have Ferrari who can go on the full uh, mode and um, Obviously do damage against the other light tanks or uh, against anyone else It is a big fat benefit if you know what I mean and this tank is he deserved the uh, reputation this vehicle deserved this reputation on purpose okay let's put that in this way so yeah um three games with ferrari 
um, honestly, I had quite, uh, quite a good time. And Scale, are you happy this tank is not for sale for such a long time? Absolutely, yes, I am. Um, I think this is a good decision, but I can tell you one thing. Whenever our gaming will think about cashing out in a way, or whenever they will say, well, Igor, we need to make uh, money. Uh, this tank is going to be on sale, I can promise you that. Anyways, uh, 900 damage, 3.7 thousand assisting damage, all in all, I am rating this game as a solid banana out of 10. Pleasure to meet you, Lynx. Zashibis, I see, I have a feeling he's Lithuanian as well, so pleasure to meet you, my man, and... After three games with this tank, we are averaging 2.1 thousand damage and 2.1 thousand assisting damage. Considering this tank has a view range of 400 meters, I would say that's pretty damn impressive, don't you think so? So yeah, join the Ferrari Hater Club, yell for Ferraris and uh, let's hope, let's hope we are not going to have another branch of this. For example, uh, uh, British Ferraris or Russian Ferraris or whatever else, right? So yeah. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself and see you very very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.